Hey guys, WSU Cougar Rex here. Uh, follow up video to my uh, Gamma Goat heater project. I just uh, finished things up and I thought I'd share uh, exactly what I did. So let's start from the cab here. So I added a couple extra switches. So this switch right here is going to be my backup lights, of which uh, I still have to get things all wired up. And over here. Uh, right over there is the heater switch. Couldn't really find any other locations other than right there, so uh, that's where that's located. So, there's the heater unit, as I said. Now, I know this isn't probably the most efficient thing to do, but there is the ductwork. <laughs> Just bear with me, guys. I know what you're thinking. So, that is, hold on, that's a three inch duct coming down into a 90 degree duct elbow I got at Home Depot. Coming through the, I don't know if you want to call it a firewall, comes into the, uh, the cap here. And right on up to a 3 inch to 4 inch um, adapter. Believe it or not, that is, for, that is off of a car. That's a uh, turbo uh, air cooler. Um, silicone hose. On up into a Gamma Goat uh, heater elbow. The cool thing about that, hopefully the camera will show it. It's got a little slit there on the back to help uh, bring heat to the feet. Anyways, it comes up into a uh, junction box right there. This one, you can divert it to the defrost right there or the driver's side um, feet down there. only one second it's uh, going to be high or high. I don't have the uh, capacitor in there for low so all right and I can feel it. Uh, I can go through and make sure there were no leaks. I do have to plug up a little hole there. Let's see it's coming out a little bit but other than that I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. All right. W.C. Griggs out.